Hey, this is Yanis from Foles, and this is the story behind Spanish Sahara. So I walked into the haze And a million dirty ways Spanish Sahara came from like a chord sequence that Jimmy had written and it had been around for a while. I think the simplicity of it is what connects. It's only like three or four chords. They're kind of tear-jerking a little bit, and, uh, and, the, and the lyrics. We were in the house in Oxford that we were living in, and I went downstairs and I had, the, I had his chords on a loop pedal, and then I just spent the whole night doing lyrics and adding little, little like guitar touches here and there. And then it was basically fully formed from that, that moment on. We just kind of kept the kit, you know, we just kept the drum kit out for the first half of the song and then it was, it was kind of done. Because it's such a delicate song, my role was a lot more sort of laid, laid back and I kind of had to just make sure that whatever I was doing wasn't going to interfere with the, 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 the delicate nature of, of the song. I was trying to depict a kind of a beautiful nightmare, basically. I wanted it to be chilling and creepy and um, to paint like a picture of this kind of still scene where there's something horrific, but something that you love, basically, like floating and haunting you. I think until we took it to the studio, it was a, it was a lot more of a sort of slower build. And then when we when we took it in, we realised that we could elevate it by sort of having this cracking section in the second half. It felt good, you know. When we recorded it, it felt right. It's rare that you get like a eureka moment in the studio where you're like, yeah, that's, you know, there's there's bits that we really enjoy and we know when it's going in the right way, but. You'd have to be pretty kind of cocksure to feel like you've done something super amazing. You know, it's like you always got a bit of, it's good to have a bit of self doubt. It's spine, it's spine tingling now playing it live when, when you have the combination of like the audience and how much it means to, to people. When, when we were working on it in the studio alone, so often it's like your own kind of stuff that's going on in your brain can affect how you feel about things. And we always feel a little bit unsure of ourselves, usually at the end of having worked on something. We're kind of never really sure until, until it's gone out. So um, it's, it's definitely a special song now and it's like, I feel almost, you know, I feel basically privileged to have written something that can connect with, with that many people in that way and it's like, it's a, it's a beautiful moment every night when we play it live. Mm -hmm.